Hi everyone, it's Linda from the Upper Saddle River Library. The next Craft Your Calm Grab and Go Craft Kit for Adults is going to be an origami pop-up card. What you're going to receive in the kit is you're going to receive one piece of cover stock paper that's going to have a 7 by 7 inch card base template on it. You also have a band template up here, a one inch by eight and a half inches. We are including three more templates, a three by three template, two by two, and a one and a quarter and one and a quarter, which you can use to decorate your card. We're giving you as well two pieces of pattern origami paper, again, as an option to decorate your card. So let me show you now the steps to making the card. You will need to provide your own scissors and glue stick for this project. So I cut out my seven by seven inch template and also my band. The way that you do the card is first, you fold one edge of the paper over to the other side and you wanna have a nice crease in the middle. Unfold the card. We're gonna repeat this by taking this edge and folding it in towards the middle crease. So you just follow where the crease is, again, pressing down nice and hard. We're gonna do the same for the other side, having the two pieces of paper now meet in the middle. When you unfold your card, we're going to repeat the same thing, but you're going from top to bottom. So we're gonna take the bottom and go up to the top pushing down on our crease, unfolding, taking the bottom edge to the middle seam, and taking the top to meet in the middle. So this is white paper. It's probably hard to see in the video, but there are three crease lines that are going up and down vertically here. The next step is actually probably the hardest step of the whole thing. We're taking this side crease, it's the top over here, and I'm going to fold it over towards my middle bottom crease. So I'm taking this and folding it. The edge of the paper should line up with your middle crease. I'm gonna press down the diagonal. I'm gonna do the same for the other side, taking now this crease and folding it to the middle, pressing down. I'm going to now press down my paper and this will create, it's easier for me to do it this way, a trapezoid. Again, really pressing down. I'm going to repeat on this side. So I'm taking this edge of the crease and folding it towards the bottom middle pushing down on the diagonal. I'm taking this crease and folding it up. I'm now gonna take the edge of the paper and fold it down into a trapezoid. Really pushing. Okay, so here I have my two trapezoids. This creates four flaps. So I'm gonna fold the flaps each way, just to give myself a nice seam. Here we go. Now you can see we have four pockets that are created. I'm gonna push the pocket down and now it creates a square. By doing the nice hard creases, this should be a pretty easy step. So now I have my four squares. The final step is I'm going to take one of these corners and fold my flap up. All four edges will be folded up. And this is 
the pop-up card. For the band, you're going to wrap it around and you want it to be tight enough that it holds the flaps down. I'm going to take off my glue stick. But not so tight, you want it to be able to slide on and off the card fairly easily. See, so there we have that the card can go, the band can go in and out. So let me show you how you can decorate, one choice of decorating this different card. With the templates that you have, we're going to give you two sets of paper. You would cut from the first colored pattern a three by three, two two inch by two inch squares, and two one and a quarter and one and a quarter inch squares. From the second paper, you would cut six one quarter and one quarter inch squares. Your next step would be to cut diagonally all the squares except for the three inch by three inch. So here we have, I started to decorate this paper. And again, if you recognize it, let me fold it down for you. Here is the folded card. So I opened it up and I glued the three inch by three inch template on the bottom. I glued the diagonals from the two by two inch squares here on the side. I am following the crease lines. I glued the one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch triangles from the same pa paper number one on the outer edges. So now from paper number two, there are still triangle creases here. I would glue down following the creases, the triangles that I cut out from the one quarter inch, one quarter inch, and this would be the second paper. I've already done this ahead. So this is what it would look like when all the different colored papers are, are done down. So you can fold your card up and you see that you have a different design. Now for this band, I left it plain that would be your card. I've made some other cards over here. Again, this one I just used Sharpie. I cut some patterns out. I used some stickers and only used one different type of card. For inside here, you could actually put in, this is big enough that you could put in a gift card if you wanted to. Um, you could write over here, I wrote Happy Valentine's Day. This is the one that I just did with Sharpie pens. Um, I cut up an anniversary card and did that. So I hope you enjoy this craft. And again, let your creativity go. You can use the paper. You could use stickers. You could use only one color paper. Really, it's, it's as personal as you would like it to be. I hope to see you soon at the library. Take care.